Hey, with today's daily sprint, we're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning, and lifting our lid to become a more better growth-driven human being so that we can serve others and our friends and our family and our world better. So today we're talking about a syndrome that I guarantee we have all exemplified this at one point in our life. It's called the armchair quarterback syndrome. So say that you've never played football in your entire life, or maybe you have played a little bit, maybe you even played college, but you're just sitting at Super Bowl Sunday and you're just yelling at the TV that the ref made one bad call after another bad call, like you know more than the ref. Yeah, that's called the armchair quarterback syndrome. Um, scientists have found that it generally is exemplified from people with low emotional intelligence and people that just refuse generally out of anger, sometimes even out of hate, but they refuse to listen to the opposite side. I know that I had this syndrome, um, not in a funny, this isn't a funny uh, way of looking at it like the, the quarterback uh, scenario is, but I know I had this when it came to like child monsters. I, I just, I, would, I, did, I could not see their side whatsoever. I felt that they should all be condemned and, and put somewhere and tortured or, or whatever the, the old belief used to be until I did open my brain and I got around people like my wife who had her master's degree in psychology and actually she used to work for something called CPS where they would like look at sex abuse. And what I found is the data is that a lot of abusers were actually abused themselves at a very young age. So they were actually victims themselves. Definitely doesn't make what they do um, continuing that cycle. You know, definitely continuing that cycle does not mean they don't need to be punished and, and prosecuted and everything like that. But by me opening up my brain to getting into the why, like well, why is this instead of just condemning um, that particular crime really, really helped me to live a more joyful life. So it's easier to forgive people when we don't have this armchair uh, quarterback syndrome or this armchair syndrome of just refusing to listen to the other side whatsoever. Um, there's actually something in physiological science called the Anton syndrome. And the Anton syndrome is people that have, a, they're, they're sane, they're not insane, but they have a a uh, physical ailment, like they might be missing an arm or the cases I read about with they were both blind and they refuse to admit that they're blind. So they might like walk into a, uh, uh, you know, walk into a wall and be like, man, someone's got to turn the lights on in here. So they refuse to acknowledge and believe, not just acknowledge, but believe that they are blind. So that's kind of how the armchair quarterback syndrome can manifest itself is that you refuse to believe that there's any other way to look at your belief or your opinion other than your way of looking at it. So if you want to try to open that up, now you know there's actually a syndrome for that. And by being aware of that, you might say, okay, fine. I'm not necessarily going to agree, but I'm not going to let this increase my blood pressure, but I am going to listen to what you have to say. And then at least I can say I've heard both sides and you might end up living a more joyful life because of that. And you'll no longer be completely oblivious to the other side. Love to hear your thoughts on this and thank you for tuning in.